Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place we get in today. Uh, instead of teleporting back to the dungeon we were just at, I'm going to show you where you can actually go to just enter it from the world map. It is actually this dot all the way up here. Just land right there. Alright, so, uh, I showed off the party from last time. This is what we're working with right now. Uh, Crowley's going to be doing some decent damage with Voice of the Earth. He got nine uses of that. Uh, I don't think... I'm not going to use it too often in, in the random encounters, but, you know, uh, I have the option to, obviously. So, the sirens here, these enemies that you can run into, they drop flowing runes. I can't use that. I'll give that to you for right now. Um, put that in the storage later, just to give that to someone else. Flick? No, I probably already bought that for Flick, actually, didn't I? Oh yeah, the sirens here, they drop flowing runes, which are always nice to have. Uh, and they, uh, sound setting three, I believe. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use Black Shadow and Voice of the Earth. I don't think the sirens here will actually die from Black Shadow. Oh, never mind. I do kind of want to... Ooh, five levels, Sanzuki. Sometimes they, they gain a lot more. There is a trick. I, it might be in the second game. Where if you have a fortune rune, you put it on like someone that's level one. You bring them to like the end game area. Then they'll pretty much just die. I'm just going to auto attack. Oh, 870? That's beautiful. And 300 for just a basic attack from Victor, huh? You can run into a big group of enemies. Ooh, guard ring. I will give that to... You, because you don't have anything. Yo. That's actually not bad defense for only level 9. I mean, we, it's mostly from our equipment, but you do have a pretty high defense stat and a speed stat and skill stat for your level. Yeah. I mean, your attack's pretty, I think, at on average for that level. But, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. He might actually be pretty good. I don't know. I've never actually used the dude. Ah, all right, so Elite Knights, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Hell here, just to clean these guys up. Now, I didn't want to bring, like, a, a, a caster that was low level here to, uh, to just level up for fun. It's, it's easier to swap out melee fighters, or even just bow and arrow users that will uh, be able to do damage as they level up. If you bring a caster in this game, they, uh, they don't get their spell charges as they learn them, so I'm going to give that to Tear because I, I want to. I kept the ninja on him. kind of figured we were going to be, well, actually, I knew we were going to be getting a uh, Master Garb anyways, but kind of also forgot, but I'm glad we actually were able to just save some money there. Now, unfortunately, Sanzuki, you're not getting this. We're not having as many battles as I thought we were, so you're gonna be pretty dead, actually. Unless you decide to level up a bunch now. I mean, I guess there's always a chance that he could live. There is no chance. <laughs> there is no chance that he will live. But you never know. Weirder shit has happened. Oh, come on, Victor. He's dead. <laughs> I like his animation for his saw. Also, that's a brutal way to attack someone, man. Mega Medicine? Oh, good, because we're going to give that to Sanzuki, like, right now. And Victor. Alright. Well, we didn't get as many uh, levels for Sanzuki as I had hoped, but that's fine. It's a clam. There you are! You knew this was here? This is Shell Venus. Shell Venus has the highest HP of just any single enemy boss in the game. It has 15,000. It's strong to fire, water, and wind. It is weak, weak to earth and lightning. So... I guess what we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna be using uh, some earthquakes here. Oh, wait, that's got an earth. That's broken. Earthquake, please. Thank you. Uh, we shouldn't need the heal. I'm gonna use like a couple of black shadows. 
Because we probably need to use them later. Honestly, you know what? I probably should just do melee with Tahir at this point, because his crit will be doing a ton more damage than, uh... Oh, bye, Sanzuki. Yeah, his, his melee will be doing a ton more damage than, uh, his spell. Why don't you use Judgment? Uh, Judgment will be used later. Judgment will be used, uh, absolutely later. I might try to revive Sanzuki a little bit later, but... Honestly, probably not going to happen. Oh, honestly, the dude looks like a better character than I gave him credit for when I first... Like, like I've never used him. In all of my playthroughs, I have never used this dog. And his stat-wise actually doesn't seem that bad. So, you know, color me freaking surprised. So Mother Ocean would heal him. Revive him. So, yeah. It's tempting. He's in the back row now, so if he revives, he's going to stay there and not be able to do anything. See, the problem with reviving him now, though, is I don't know how close we are to actually killing this thing. So I'll use Mother Ocean. Just so we can see it, too. I mean, we're going to probably see it later anyways, but... I guess I shouldn't mention about the Unite rune attacks. They're not that good in this game. Oh, no, he does shift to the front. Oh, I did not know that. We're learning new shit every day now. Oh, he's dead again. Oh, well. Ah, I kind of was kind of hoping the thing was almost dead, but sure. That's fine. Um, Use Voice of the Earth now. Let's go ahead and heal. Uh, yeah, so if you have two people that use the final level spell on two different runes, say like uh, Wind and Water, if you use Mother Ocean and whatever the, the Shining Wind was, I think it's called, or uh, the Wind Rune or the, the Cyclone Rune, uh, you'll do like a, a Water Dragon attack. And it does all right damage, but it takes up two uh, spell charges. Uh, from both people, and sometimes it is just not really that much more powerful for it. Um, oh, it's dead now. So, yeah, I don't really like using the Unite uh, elemental attacks. Uh, they do have a kind of neat looking... Oh, 200,000 bits, lovely. They do have a neat looking uh, animation for the most part, but... In other games, in like the future ones, they uh, you can have multiple runes equipped, and you can use the the unite attack by yourself. Uh, I don't know. It's one of those things that I never really got into those types of attacks. Uh, then I'll go close the floodgate. Uh, you wait here, Tier. You definitely don't want to use the judgment on the shell Venus. It has a lot of HP, but if you have the Mother Earth rune. You don't need, you don't need judgment. Thunder Crystal. Now that is the advanced form of the Lightning Rune. Uh, that could come in handy. What was that? Huh. No, I already healed up, right? Uh, as you've noticed, Victor's HP has definitely uh, stalled out, right? He started the game with so much HP that his growth in it just kind of stopped, which makes sense, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Get Sansuki a couple more levels. Oh, is he going to get the kill and blow? Yes, he is! What a... Just monstrous normal attack. Hey, sound setting three. Okay, cool. He could have gave me a god dang freaking... Actually, can we put the ninja suit on anyone? Nah, I'll sell those then. We could probably keep the sh chaos shield for someone. Maybe later? Maybe later. I don't know. I think I already bought one for Flick. Um, I took Sheena's off him, so I guess I could give it to... No, Sheena didn't have a shield. Huh. How much money do I have? 400,000? That's pretty good. That's really not enough to get someone up to level 16, weapon-wise, but, you know. Still pretty good. Oh, hey, new enemy! 
Cer Cerberus, all right. It's like Cerberus with what's it, like a uh, K though. Honestly, I don't really remember this enemy. It has a decent amount of HP apparently. And it's fast. Look at us, uh, Sansuki's stats again. How are you doing on strength? 62? All right, I mean, that's middling. That's like, it's pretty average. But your skill and defense and speed are actually pretty good. Yeah. Huh. I mean, there, there, there are definitely better characters out there, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised by uh, his stack growth. It's really shocking, actually. <laughs> it's just straight up shocking. Wait a moment, Tear. I must ask you something. Hey, you're the Imperial leader. Yes, I'm the last of the five great Imperial generals. I want to ask you, Tear. Why did you betray, betray the Empire? Why did you betray your own father, Tio? Inciting a rebellion, causing wars, taking lives? Is this what you call justice? Uh, well... It's kind of like... One of those things that kind of needs a third option there. It's like, look... We didn't, we didn't start this shit, but we're gonna finish it type option, right? Because we didn't start this. We were sitting at home one day when we were just pretty much the house was invaded and Ted was taken from us and we were forced to flee. So we didn't set out to do this, but we got involved in it and now we're going to finish it for the better of the, the Empire. So it's like, but none of these is exactly true. So I'll just say that is what? Why is the oil, oil already lit? It's too early. The all-consuming flame. Is this your answer? Is this what you want? You raise your sword against Teo. I don't have a sword. You will pay now with your life. Stepmom, what are you doing? Um. All right, so we're fighting Sonia. Uh, this is what you want to save your judgments for. Uh, she has 6,000 HP and she is strong against everything except holy. And obviously, uh, Oh, right, I want to talk about that. And uh, the and the Soul Eater. So, uh, I believe Copper Flesh and Guardian Earth don't work. They're bugged. I think they're supposed to raise your defense, but they don't. I know, right? Kind of suck. It's actually, the, I think it's like one of the only real bugs they have with their magic in this game is this. It just doesn't work. I don't know if that's universal, like if it didn't work in the Japanese version or like the PAL version or even like the PSP version. I don't know if they ever fixed that. I just know in this one they don't they don't do anything. Uh, so earthquake and shoot, Sansuki, you're gonna die again. So with two judgments, that should be an easy three thousand uh, damage on her. So that's like half her health. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Busting on all cylinders there with that crit. I'm not gonna heal just yet. I ah, may as well hit her with another earthquake, right? Now she does have an AOE attack. It's water-based. Uh, at least I think it's water-based. It's blue, so I'm assuming it's water. Well, Judgment's blue. No, it's darkness and blue. It's different. Sansuki's dead. Actually, Kazim might be dead too, because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the. Oh, never mind. We're fine. Only three thousand bits, though. That's actually double the starting money I think we had. As I thought, I can't defeat you. After all, you beat Tio. We didn't fight one on one. I mean, to be fair, if we fought one on one, I'd probably still kick your ass, but. You know, give yourself some credit. You faced six people. You faced five people, right? Sansuki was just there. But I will not let you defile me. 
I'm the Empire's. I'm His Highness's. Teos. Stop it! What are you doing? Can't let a pretty lady like you die. Besides, you seem to have your reasons. Tear, we'll take this woman in general with us. All right. Let's go see why they lit the fire early. Master Matthew. Master Matthew. Master Matthew. What happened? Are you all right? Sanchez, damn you! What have you done? Why did you like the oil before receiving orders? Answer me, Sanchez. I'm sorry, Master Flick. I have been deceiving you all this time. What? I have been in the employ of the Emperor since the War of Secession seven years ago. Then you're the spy! Now that's right. In the days of the War of Secession, His Majesty was a wonderful man. And like everyone else, I swore allegiance to him. And the hideout... When the hideout was attacked in Odessa, are you to blame for Odessa's death? That was the result. I won't deny that. But my heart was in pain. Being with you people, I began to question myself. Who's right? What should I do? Ultimately, I chose to remain loyal to the Emperor. At my age, it's difficult to change one's way of life. I'm sorry about Lady Odessa. Don't you dare mention her name! You're having the right. I understand. I will not forgive you. In the name of my sword, Odessa, I will take your head! Yes, Master. I have no regrets, but please remember one thing. I like you. All of you. Must have felt like you were immature, but that immaturity, that honesty, was something I coveted. And I'm sure that's why Lady Odessa loved you. Okay, I guess it did, they did say that she loved him. It's kind of hard to tell where their relationship was uh, at, from the beginning of the game. Sanchez, prepare to die! Wait. Master Matthew. Are you alright? If you kill Sanchez now, and the troops find out that he was a spy, the morale of the Liberation Army will plummet. I'm going to share the punishment later. Right now, we must prepare the army and march to Gregminster. Don't be ridiculous, Master Matthew. You're badly injured. Uh, it's not really shown, but he was pretty much next to the oil barrels when they exploded. Uh, you're badly injured. If you move... There's a thing called flow in this world. There's a thing called timing in warfare. We lose the opportunity, we will never defeat the Empire. Commander Tear, we must decide, or you must decide. In any case, we better return to the castle. You're right, we should. Um, so... Before we do that... Let's come downstairs! You used to be one of Tio's servants. My name is Cleo, Lady Sonia. What are you doing here? Are you a tr you are a traitor, Lady Sonia? I was always by Master Tio's side, so I understand how you feel. I also know about your personal relationship. How dare you! Shut your mouth, Lady Sonia. Do you think Master Tio hates Master Tear? You are someone who may have become Master Tear's mother, and yet you hate Master Tear. I cannot bear the thought, but I can never discard my loyalty to the Empire and General Tio. The expression on Master Tio's face when he died was very peaceful for someone who was just beaten to death with a staff. He seemed happy to see him have seen his son grow up. Or see how his son grew up. Please remember that. Hi! 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 Tear, what do you want? You want to ask you, if you want to execute me, do it quickly. I wield a staff! It wouldn't be quick. Also, I want you to join us. That's... Don't forget that I hate you. Do you still want me to join? I mean, you have a point, but I don't mind. Thoughts? All right, I'll join you, but I won't help you fight. That's a lie. She'll help us fight. I'll stay by your side so I can watch you die. All right, well... Let's go to the third floor. Because that should, if you've been following along, be the last Star of Destiny. That's assuming I didn't mess up. <sighs> We're about to find out today <laughs> if I missed anyone. Oh, by the way, if someone dies, uh, they get grayed out and you can't actually like see their stats anymore. 
So, like, if anyone died during your uh, war battles, they would be great out here. So, there were definitely hints along the way that Sanchez was the traitor, right? Um, you know, if you check, take in the, 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 the Northern Checkpoint little scuffle, uh, the way he acts towards Griffith, then that's kind of like a dead giveaway. Like, oh, he's up to something. Uh, another case is when Odessa's death is announced to everyone. If you, when you talk to him, he's like, she died at that time. No, that, but then he's like guilt written for that, but that can be pretty much chalked up just being shocked that someone you were close with died. Uh, and another way to kind of know that he was not really part of your army is he's not on the star destiny board. He's not a star destiny. Um, he also doesn't take place it take part in like the battles right where everyone else in the army actually has some sort of role in the battles there but he doesn't uh, alright so I'm going to come down I don't know why I'm taking the stairs but I'm going to come down here real fast and pretty much take off actually you know what I should probably put that stuff I'll just sell it but I should totally put the sound setting in the uh, the vault right now. So I'll just do I'll take the Prosperity Rune and the Master or Mother Earth Rune and put it on Tears Inventory and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I have uh, put that in the inventories for future use. Let's go talk to Sanchez. I'm sorry Master Matthew told me to pretend that everything is normal. Change parties? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I'm gonna kick everyone out of my party just for, just for funsies. Oh, I didn't take the Prosperity Rune off the San Su Oh my god, I didn't take the Prosperity Rune off the Sanzuki. I should probably put that back on him. Oh, well, take that off. Yeah, put him back in the party and take it off. Where is he? Where are you? Alright, I guess I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, we're back. Alright. Hey, Maz Matthew, what's up, dog? Commander Tia. Shashar, whatever the hell it's called, what is it? Shashar Razad, Zaid, Shashar Sarazade has fallen, and the way to the capital is clear. Now is the time to gather our forces and attack Gregminster. Commander, please give me the order to march forward. Let me tell you something, as a doctor, I won't let Matthew go to battle, but I must. I have my responsibility. I swore to my sister Odessa. Well, I swore to her ghost, but yeah, let's march to the capital. Thank you, Commander Tia. A force of 20,000 remains in the capital. They will be desperate and dangerous. Please assemble all the Liberation Army troops. We must raise their room to morale. Troops are assembled, medical officer. Commander Tia, let us begin. Warriors of the Liberation Army, the time is... Oh, by the way, before you talk to Matthew, if you have not recruited anyone, go recruit people. Because you are no longer able to do it after this point, right? So, if you didn't recruit Sonya, reload that save and go get her in the the tower area, all right? Um, yeah, Warriors of the Liberation Army, the time has come. The end is near for the cruel Imperial regime. Think of your friends, think of your families, and fight for them. The ground quakes. Warren, why are you up here, man? We just recruited you like a couple days ago. Not even. It was like yesterday. Ground quakes with the anger of the people. Their cries echo in the heavens. Now is the time for this to end. Tear, the time has come to tell you everything. My sister Wendy is looking for vengeance against the entire world. Hundreds of years ago, my ancestors, the Clan of the Gate, were powerful people. But because of their power, they were massacred. Winnie and I managed to escape using the power of the Rune of the Gate. The Rune of the Gate is, in fact, two runes, the front and the back runes, also called the entrance and the exit runes. My sister carries the front rune, while I the back. The powers are connected. Then it was Windy who tried to kill you. To increase her powers, Windy tried to take the back rune of the gate from me. That is why I isolated myself on Magician's Isles, even though she knew where I was, setting up defenses and biding my time. I'm waiting for the appearance of someone like you, Tyr. Listen, everyone. The 108 stars of destiny have come together here. You are all travelers, stars that wander freely across the skies. 
and you have all assembled to this single spot. Together, you will be victorious. Hey, wait a minute there, sis. You said there was 108 stars here. Or, you're mi mistaken. There's actually only, like, freaking 14 people here. Or, no, 16 people here right now. But yeah, we're actually mistaken. You're missing one. Remyo. Tear, I shall show you the power of my ruin of the gate. Shol soldiers of the Liberation Army, quiet your minds and remember your friend. Open, Gate of Dimensions. Unite the 108 stars to bring us. Oh, I don't want to die here. There's so much more I must do for young master. There's still some laundry left to do. We have Sarah for that now. And a new stew. Huh? What the? Grimio! Grimio! Cleo? Pan? Y young master, I... I swear to God I was just being eaten alive. Such is the combined power of the Runa Gate and the 108 Stars of Destiny. What do you have just witnessed is possible only once. Matthew's like, ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, the end of the war is... The Empire is near. We have lost many lives, but we just got one back. Uh, for our departed friends, this is minus one. And for the future, we must battle on. Uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, man. I don't like that, to be quite honest. Uh... To bring back someone that died like that, like that, I don't know. It's like probably one of my only major gripes with the the, the game. But hey, if you really like Grumio, he's back. Like Backstreet, we must bring an end to this conflict. Conflict under the banner of the Liberation Army, under our leader, Commander Tia. Victory or death. Yeah, I know. I said victory first. Y'all better fight hard tomorrow, right, Sidonia? Huh. I don't talk much. <laughs> I don't like talking. <laughs> fix what you can fix. This is our last chance. I don't, I don't like when the music cuts out. I, already played, I would not want to stand there. Uh, I show cobalt power. You all follow Kuro Mimi. Haru! Oh, you move. All right. Well, uh, how about a tour? Kronos. Yeah, we're taking the tour. Uh, the castle's finished. We have all the characters. Time to take a tour. So, up here is Kazumi, and she is. Does not want to talk to us because she's like all flustered. He's practicing his disappearing technique by standing in plain sight. Oh, Ninja Waste knows words. Yeah, you'd be surprised, Og. It's Maximilian, <laughs> or Max, uh, and Sanchez, or not Sanchez, Sancho. Sancho. Uh, I guess Clive and Presmerger are up here. Yeah, so him and you, Yubber, are. They got some unfinished business. And Clive is just like, I will capture her. Like, okay, dog, you didn't actually tell us about that, but all right. That's great. Is there usually no music up here? Or is this just like, they're not playing any music because they want me to talk to Matthew? Really? I want some goddamn music here, dog. I'm going to leave, and there we go. Well, we'll start at the, the bottom and work our way up. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Now, we already came in here before. Uh, but Kimberly's hang hanging in here. Am I drinking part? I am 16. I'm actually forever 16, girl. So, like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, maybe in, like, a couple years. I don't know. I'm sure after, like, 20 years of being 16, I'm not really gonna care too much, right? And then again, with the Soul Eater, you know, with it, the whole taking people close to us souls, you probably don't want to get close to anyone, right? Um, yeah, Helene, she's really great. Broly's just hanging down here. Like, I really like damp dark spaces. Don't judge me. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this area doesn't really change that much, right? You don't get that many characters that come down here except for weirdos. Like these guys and Vicky. <laughs> Vicky's the only, like, non-weirdo down here, and she's actually kind of weird, so... It just I guess she fits. 
Hellion's kind of Absolutely, Hellion's kind of What are you talking about? Of course, Hellion's weird. Guess anything new? Alright. Yeah, you could put these guys in your party. Camille's just gonna stay. You're never gonna get paid. What are you talking about? I don't look remorse. remorse. My servant just came back from the dead. Yeah, I don't know. It's a... Uh, it's definitely even back in the day, I was never really a fan of like people kind of being brought back to the dead like that. Like when it's a surefire death. Like if there's room for doubt, that's fine. If it's like a last minute heal thing, that's totally cool. If like friendship is magic type deal, fine. That's actually fine with me. Um, it's when they are eaten alive. <laughs> it's when they're eaten alive and then get brought back. And, you know, I don't lose any spells, right? So it's not like they took the soul out of my soul either, right? Pretty sure we just took a uh, Gremio from a different dimension and uh, pretty much screwed over that timeline, that parallel world of uh, getting a full soul eater rune. But then again, and maybe in that timeline, people are dying left and right. And the, you know, like it could happen, right? In your uh, army and your souls are being absorbed through that. Don't worry about the dragons. Why? They're dragons. Watch just being here. Uh, she will sing you theme songs. I'm pretty sure there's also... I think it's on the PSP version. There's a bug of some sort that can make her crash the game, so be careful with that. I'm not sure if it's on the PlayStation version or not. I don't really use her that often. So we're on the Imperial side now from all these guys. Uh, just that we recruited from the Imperial Army, except for Valerie. I mean, she was in the Imperial Army, just... Uh, she more defected before we even had a chance to really get to her, right? Uh, this spot's supposed to be like Milich's, but he's up on the roof. Uh, Leon was part of the Liberation Army too. This does not make any sense, by the way. So I'm assuming, I think the game might have had plans to recruit her earlier. Tear, you've been beginning to resemble General Tio. You just said you wanted to watch me die, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's... Quite the change of heart, Sonya. Also, are you coming on to me? Stop it. Hi, Vincent. Oh, you're saying Vincent now and not Vincent? Or Vanson? What do you mean, rundown place? It's a castle in the middle of a lake. Uh, this is the window setting guy and... Melody up here, the sound settings go to her. So like window gets the window settings, Melody gets the sound settings. Window just changes like the border of the windows here. It's not the really, I don't really care for that. And Melody, she changes like these noises. Yeah, I think, I don't really know. Uh, you would think Melody would sh like play the theme songs and like area music that uh, this lady that sings over here does, but yeah, it's um, uh, it's just more like sound effects. Yeah, no, weird, right? I think we've been up here since. Uh, yeah, we got a. I mean, you aren't a thief, Quincy, right? Man, I thought you were a woman for like twenty years. <laughs> I just thought you had a weird name for like a lady. My journey doesn't hinder its purpose to... I oh, forget it. No use explaining. I mean, you could. You could. You can maybe hint at something. That's fine. You wonder if your fields are alright? No, dude. I crushed them. I literally stepped on everything as you, I recruited you. And this place is huge, right? You work for me. Don't forget that, alright? You can say you don't work for me and work for him, but you work for me. Or else you'll be in the water. I run this place with an iron fist, goddammit. I always like this, the, this the, your castle growing and being populated by people that you recruit. <sighs> I need more games like this. I need, yeah, they, the Suikoden needs to come back. Yeah, you know, let's take a bath just by ourselves. Nice and fancy now, right? Uh, you can place an antique if you want, but I'm leaving. You have anything interesting to say? Heard everything? No? Okay, I guess she just tells us since we're at the end of the game, she's like, heard anything interesting? 
Oh, you're learning how to cook? All right, let me know and I'll taste test. Oh, Fusulu's just hanging out. I know, I know you are, dog. Morgan, you're blind. Why are you standing near an area that doesn't have a fence like this? That's highly dangerous. Like, I know you use martial arts to sense your shit, but god damn, man. You have... You are very confident. In, like, your ability to see when you're blind. Because, my god. I kind of wish they ported the Sega Saturn version of this game over so I could try out that fighting arena. It sounds pretty dope. I think there's only like one Suikoden game. Well, no, I think there, there's two Suikoden games that have something like that. So it was ahead of its time for sure. Uh, now that Grumio's back, his name is no longer grayed out there. Create as many stars as you can. No, no, I'm, I'm done, dog. I lot, where's your cat? Mina's disappeared? No, Mina's downstairs dancing. Oh shit, Luke, I didn't mean to talk to you because you opened this stuff. You should probably just stand in front of it, right? Like you used to? Yeah, Hugo doesn't say anything. I'd like to go home. I have to clean my house. And I really don't want to be here. Mako just starts the mini game. You just start your mini game. Templeton, what are you doing in here, man? Nothing? Great. Good job. I guess the only other place to look is uh, on the fourth floor. But uh, we've, we've pretty much seen it already, right? Well, I guess, yeah. We haven't really talked to... Yo. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't really talked to too many people, huh? Like, yo, uh, why are these kids in my room? <laughs> Hicks' switch ships isn't proving at all. Hicks, man, come on! He doesn't like how to be a soldier? I mean, I guess you're right. You're not that bad, actually. Hi, Apple, do you still hate me? Yeah. Rude! You're right, it's rude. You should, you should not hate me. You should at least think I'm alright. Messeteer is thinking about Tio? No, I'm not. I'm thinking about dinner. Now, since Gremio's back, he's gonna be stationed outside our room like usual. How's it going, dog? Oh, young master. What happened? I was being eaten alive and now I'm here. Can you explain that to me? No. Bye. Also, I still have your soul. It's like I have your nose, but with your soul. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time for the finale of Suikoden. Bye!